Hello, doing a quick recording here of Call of Duty Warzone Season 4. We are testing the Intel Xeon E5 2650v2 paired with the RX 580 4GB video card. Uh, and yeah, in this video we're going to be going over low, medium, and high settings, starting off with low all at 1920 by 1080p. I'll slowly, I'll quickly go over the settings here. Everything is pretty much on low. Couple settings I left enabled like cache spot shadow and cache shadows. Uh, but everything else is on low or disabled there. And yeah, that's what we're going to be starting out with here. In the top left-hand corner of the screen, we have MSI Afterburner running, where you can keep an eye out on the CPU and GPU usage, along with the frame rate and frame time graph. I'm thinking of dropping... I think we'll drop over in hills. Hopefully it's not too busy there. I'm not a great Call of Duty player. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to drop off to the edge of the map. Hopefully there are less players. We can run around a little bit longer. You can get a better idea of how the system will perform. Overall, I'd say well above 75 FPS on average. And yeah, starting out on low settings, everything is pretty... Uh, looks pretty bad from above here. But once we drop down, all the textures you can see are loading in there. This game is very, very memory intensive. I recommend having at least 16 gigabytes of memory in your system. Uh, but yeah, strategy here is we're going to drop on the outside of the map so we can survive a little bit longer, get a better idea of how the system will perform. We need to redeploy that parachute so we don't fall and die. And uh, yeah, I'll do my best to survive as long as possible. And for those of you who are not familiar with the processor, the Intel Xeon E5 2650V2 is from the Ivy Bridge generation of processors. So that's similar to the i7-3770. Obviously, they're a little bit different. One has 8 cores and 16 threads, and one only has 4 cores and 8 threads. Um, but yeah, overall, they're built on that same architecture. I believe Ivy Bridge. If I said Sandy Bridge, I apologize. It's the Ivy Bridge architecture. Trying to play, talk at the same time. <laughs> It's easier said than done, but here I'm just going to run around a bit more. Low settings, it says we're getting about 100% GPU usage, uh, running at just above 100 FPS, which is really cool, honestly. And we are only using about 40% CPU usage. I'm sure it will fluctuate throughout the uh, game, probably go up to 50% in certain areas. But yeah, one perk of having the 8 cores and 16 threads is if you want with certain games, I'm not sure if with Warzone, but you can 1080p 60fps live stream while gaming. So that is a cool option you have there. Uh, let's continue looting up. Obviously, you have to adjust your encoder settings and stuff for... Uh, I guess the quality and stuff, but yeah, overall, it's it's a pretty well-versed system. You can do video editing, of course, recording, kind of like we're doing right now, as well as, like, do 1080p 60 gaming. All right, let's see if there's anything else we need. I don't think so. We'll just continue running around. I'll pop that last armor plate there, but you can see out in the open, actually, the frame rate went down there to 60 for a second. That guy's not moving, but this weapon does absolutely zero damage. I had no idea he was there. I couldn't even hear him. He must have had, like, a suppressor or something stealthy on there. Very interesting. Uh, what does this do? I don't know. I think we'll just take the LMG here. <laughs> but yeah, that honestly startled me. I had no idea that a player was there. Looks like he missed all his shots because we're full, uh, full shield or full health or whatever you'd like to call it. So, interesting, interesting. We'll continue moving along here. Just going to adjust my microphone a little bit. It's interesting, we have a right channel and left channel audio, so it sounds pretty decent if you're wearing headphones. Most people, of course, watching on the phone, it sounds perfectly fine. And I did switch my microphone over to, uh, yeah, I swapped my microphone back. The last couple videos I've been recording using a different, cheaper, more budget-friendly mic. So, yeah, just wondering if you guys noticed the, uh, any audio difference there. Uh, let's see, gas is inbound. We are in the next zone, so we don't really need to rotate there. We'll just continue running around these houses. Um, and yeah, we just got to keep an eye out if there are other players. There's a buy station. Quickly buy something here. Yeah, it's nice and quiet when I'm not talking, obviously. Looks like the buy station's almost... Oh, there it is. I thought it was indoors for a second. We'll grab a UAV, and uh, there's not much else we can really grab... I'm just going to pop the UAV and don't want to risk getting uh, <laughs> taken out immediately. That would kind of suck. Looks like the frame rate did drop down to 65. Interesting. Looks like we're still at 100% GPU usage. Interesting. I'm wondering if it is some sort of CPU bottleneck there. But that's one thing, of course, because we are running an older Xeon. It doesn't have the same kind of performance or single core performance, actually, as the uh, newer Ryzen chips. And frankly, if you are looking for a... Uh, 
a great budget system a great option is definitely going with like a ryzen 3300x obviously depending on where you live in the world it's not always an option uh, but yeah these xeons are still great value for money especially these v2 processors they use less process they use less power than let's say like the v1 uh, sandy bridge version of some of these cpus and uh, yeah they are still pretty budget friendly i generally buy all my xeons on aliexpress some people like using the site some people don't i've had a great experience but yeah i think that actually should be enough for low settings there you got to feel interesting right about 60 59 fps in this one spot interesting i will swap these settings quickly over to what i'll call medium settings so we're just going to bump everything up by one that's kind of how i'm going to do it here tessellation we'll do yeah we'll do near um yeah we'll just do let's say normal particle lighting sorry i'm not any faster at this but we're just going to bump everything up a little bit we'll set that to normal static let's see anti-aliasing we'll put at 2x field of depth nope those are not important we will apply settings there probably take a second for everything to reload in here yeah there we go wow turning it to normal settings everything looks a lot better already the frame rate is still very similar interesting and yeah, it looks like, yeah, the frame rate is still pretty good around 90, 80 FPS. And we are moving very quickly across the map here in the buggy. Like, the buggy really sucks. Like, obviously, for your headphones, you can't hear anything. But they do work really well for benchmarking. Well, yeah, for benchmarking, because you are running around the map pretty well there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, my God. That guy's a lot better than us. I thought we could run our buggy into him. Oh, man. Yeah, wow. That guy absolutely obliviated us, destroyed us pretty much. All right, we will have to go through the Gulag. Gulag, 100 FPS plus easily. This runs really nice and smooth here. We are running in DirectX 12, which is nice. I know there is an option to run the game in DirectX 11, but DirectX 12 was the default, so that is what we're going to be testing here. Hopefully, we can make it out of Gulag. Otherwise, you will see me in a new match because I'll have to uh, edit that in there. Oh, man, I hate the snipers, quite honestly. Like, they are difficult to use, in my opinion. Oh, my God! Sorry, I didn't mean to scream in the mic there, but... <laughs> I've lost every gulag I've ever played. All right, let's see if there's a less busy zone we can drop to. I'm thinking we'll drop over to these houses here. I think that'll be a decent spot for us to drop. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised we one-shot that guy. But, I mean, at least Call of Duty has a little better aim than, let's say, Fortnite, for example. Which also runs pretty well on this system. Let's see if we can't fly through the window. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Not sure if anyone's in the building. We will keep our uh, eyes out for any players. But, yeah, you can see at the moment running well above that 75 FPS mark. Which I think is kind of like... The lowest frame rate you would want to run Call of Duty Warzone at. I personally have played the game like with V-Sync and everything capped at uh, 60 FPS, but I do notice 75 FPS is kind of the sweet spot to be playing around because you can pair this with a budget 75 hertz monitor and experience a really nice kind of yeah gaming setup on the budget there. Uh, we will grab that last armor plate, pop that on. And it looks like we will have to move into the zone again. And of course, <laughs> we're not in like the busiest area. Uh, but I find Call of Duty actually has done a pretty good job. To, like no matter where you are on the map, the frame rate stays pretty consistent all around. So even though we are on the edge of the map here and there might not be a lot of players, it still does stress the system pretty well. Unlike Fortnite, which I know if you land on the side of the map, you'll get like 200 FPS. You move in and you go down to like 75. It's crazy. See if there's any players here. I don't see any. We will grab our uh, ghost loadout here. It's a little bit quieter. We can probably pick some players off, which is nice. All right, don't see anyone here. We do have our heartbeat sensor, which is great. And we are running this BizCon or something. I'm not an expert at the game again, so we just keep running around. Might get in the tower, see if we can't get a little bit of... Interesting. Someone has been here, I think. I mean, I say that no matter where I go. I'm just a little bit paranoid. Don't want to run into any players. But, yeah, overall, I'd say the E5 2650 V2 runs really well here, especially paired with something like the RX 580. Even the RX 570 will pair nicely with this. I do know if you want to play on those higher settings, which we'll switch to right now, you can play with a GTX 1070 and experience a great gaming, yeah, great gaming experience. I will bump the uh, texture resolution to high. Not always recommended if you'll have a 4 gig video card, but in this case, we're just going to be testing it out here. 
for the sake of the recording and just bumping everything to max. And I know I'm a little slow here. You can skip ahead if you don't want to uh, take a look at me <laughs> fumbling through these settings. We'll let these apply. And again, I recommend if you are... Okay, our VRAM is 100% maxed out there. It's going to take a second for everything to load in. Yep, it's going to take a hot second there for stuff to load in. You can see my drive is maxed out. But yeah, generally you would want to load this in before you even start the game, but there we go. High settings have finally loaded in. <laughs> my drive is at 100%, and that's because I'm recording and gaming, so it'd be a good idea to have that recorded to a separate drive. But yeah, high settings are running around 75 FPS at the moment. It did dip down a little bit, but I'd say about 75 FPS on average here and you do get a lot nicer visual quality as well if you notice throughout the recording in the top left hand corner there they're hard to see but the frame rate and frame time graph have been staying pretty nice and consistent um, interesting we are dropping down closer to 60 FPS so maybe it might be worthwhile I know my voice cracks but it might be worthwhile playing on a mix of like normal and high settings medium to high settings there I think that's what I would personally recommend if you're looking to game with this system here on COD Warzone. You get a lot higher frame rate as well. You're not sacrificing much in terms of visual quality because, yeah, this game is an absolute VRAM and memory hog. It just, yeah, it's incredible that it runs well on this kind of hardware. Um, okay. Oh, shoot. We might get blown up here. This is unfortunate. Well, that is not how I expected us to uh, end our recording there. I think that's the first time I've ever been hit by a precision airstrike. But yeah, that is going to conclude our recording there of the Intel Xeon E5 2650V2 paired with the RX 580 4GB video card. And if you guys have any questions, you can always feel free to reach out in the comment section below. Thanks.